This is the fifth and final section of the Conic Sections 1 chapter, and here we're going to be looking at loci. Now, you may remember that um, a definition of the parabola, and we'll draw one here, is it's the loci um, of the focus and the directrix. So it's a curve, which is always the same distance between the focus and the focus is going to be at a point um, a zero and the directrix which is has equation x plus a equals zero or x minus a equals zero so let's draw our parabola like this so obviously this isn't accurate um, but what we're meant to have is if i pick um, if i take a perpendicular distance from the um, directrix and then join that to the focus where they meet. These are meant to be the same distance. Now, obviously they don't look the same because this isn't a, a, a very good diagram. It's not accurate. So I'll just write here, same distance. Yeah, they're meant to be the same distance, although it doesn't look it. And remember, this is the loci of these points. Now, if we call uh, this distance here C, uh, D, D for distance. So let's just put that in. So if we call this distance from there to there, D, that's meant to be equal to the distance uh, from the directrix to here, which is, or to the Y axis, uh, so let's call this the y-axis, not the x-axis. And then the distance from the y-axis to the parabola, that is going to be, well, whatever the x-coordinate is, so that's going to be x. So let's put that down, x here. Okay, so from there, because they're the same distance, we can write down that d equals x plus a because um, the parabola is this loci. Now, probably because we're going to be using Pythagoras to prove that these distances are the same, we could also say that d squared equals x plus a all squared. Okay, so here we've got a curve uh, C, which is the locus of the point that are equidistant from the line x plus 6 and 6 0 prove that c has a Cartesian equation y squared equals 4ac so we'll do a sketch of this so here's my y-axis and my x-axis as I've labeled it correctly this time um, and we have the line x plus 6 equals 0 and the point six zero like this uh, we know that actually uh, the loci of those points those two points there is going to be uh, a parabola so we're going to show algebraically that general point here is the same length as this here, although it doesn't look here on my sketch here. So we'll label up these points. Let's call this point here F for focus. Uh, we'll call this point here P for point. And uh, we'll call this point here D for directrix. So it's point D. Okay, I suppose I don't really need to put this on here and because the green line is the uh, loci that means from the information that's given that the length fp is equal to the length dp that means that fp squared equals dp squared now fp squared we 
I did write it before, but we need to give a point, a general point to point P. That could be anywhere. Um, so FP squared is going to be the distance between F and P all squared. So that's the uh, difference between the X coordinate squared plus the difference between the Y coordinate squared. So that will be X minus six all squared plus uh, Y minus zero all squared. We're not square rooting it. Yeah, basically it's like the length squared on one side equals the length squared on the other side equals then the distance between um, D and P is just X plus six. Yeah, this length here is six. This length is X because it's a horizontal line. Uh, we don't need to do the difference between the Y coordinates. So that distance squared is X plus six all squared. Now, hopefully, if we multiply this all out and simplify it, we should get uh, y squared equals 4ax. Let's see what happens. Right, so first bracket x squared minus 6x minus 6x minus 12x plus 36. Second bracket is just plus y squared equals, then on the other side, we'll have x squared uh, plus 12x plus 36. Lots of stuff is going to, well, not lots of stuff, but some stuff is going to cancel out. We'll take away x squared from both sides. We'll take away y, not y squared. We'll take away 36 from both sides. Which uh, just leaves y squared minus 12x um, equals 12x. So that will give us y squared equals 24x and then we can say hence the value of a equals so let's just um write this as y squared equals four times six x so the value of a is six so like usual highlight and move on so in a question like this we're using the fact that these distances are the same yes the distances are the same or the distances squ squared are the same and then we can use that to um, actually get our equation Okay, the point P lies on parabola with equation y equals y squared equals 4x show that the locus of the midpoints of OP is a parabola. Now, actually, the working for this is very short and actually probably the working is shorter than the question itself. So if we've got a parabola with equation y squared equals 4ax, uh, then uh, the uh, general points or general point on uh, of the parabola now actually they've called these general points p the general point p of the parabola we should know this is p equal to um, 80 squared 280. Right, so we're working out the midpoint between O and P. So the midpoint of OP, so just uh, between the origin and the point P, is just going to be these divided by half, isn't it? So I suppose you could do a T squared plus zero divided by 2, 280 plus 0, divided by 2. You're finding the midpoint between um, O, which is the coordinate 0, 0, and that point. So that will give us the coordinate um, 
at squared over 2 or half at squared and 2 at will just become at okay so this is the midpoint okay so that means so the parametric equation um, is going to be x equals let's call it half at squared um, y equals at and then from that we're going to work out the cartesian equation and see if that's a parabola so I'll put so the cartesian equation and we'll do the working for that so we'll make t the subject of um, the y part so we'll put uh, t equals um, y over a we'll substitute that into the x part so we'll get x equals half a t squared so that's going to be y over a squared so from there we will get um, x equals half a times by y squared over a squared so the a and that will cancel out so it'll give us x equals half uh, y squared over a sorry y squared I missed the squared out y squared over a um, right so what can we do multiply both sides by 2a so we get y squared equals 2ax that's a parabola isn't it where the value of a is um, going to be a half okay so we can say so uh, y squared equals 2ax is a parabola with a equal to a half okay you should now be able to do exercise 2g on pages 55 to 56 so here we were looking at uh, the fact that a parabola it can be defined as a, a loci so here we go again with this and uh, with the focus here uh, with coordinate a zero a directrix here with equation x plus a equals zero and we know that this distance here so again this isn't drawn to scale is equal to this distance here so if we call this distance here d that will be equal to this distance here which is going to be x plus a so because it's a loci we can then go on to say that the distance d is equal to x plus a and if we square that we'll get d squared equals x plus a all squared and often in these questions we can do that and then work out uh, what the value of a is